What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Puma Plow. Welcome back to another American Truck Simulator. Let's haul, and we're jumping in now. As you guys can probably tell, we're on the correct profile with, you know, our black truck with green and green accents and red, ac you know. We're back on our, our save, let's say, for the Let's Haul series. So that is good. That is good. And I would like to purchase a trailer for this series as well. Um, this is why, by the way, I didn't make the last video in, in this profile. Because I'm not a level 19 and I want to be able to see them all. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to st start with a flat deck trailer, guys. That's what we're going to purchase. Sure thing. We'll put it in our garage. Why not? Oakley doakley. We're going to spend money we don't really have. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, so let's go upgrade our trailer. No, that's not what I want to do. That's pretty cool, though. You just, like, pick things here? That's not what I want, though. <laughs> uh, let's go to our trailer manager. That's what we want. We would want to here, and then we want to hit customize in here. Okay, here we go. In the shop, boys. In the shop. And honestly, we're not going to be able to do much. Uh, $7,000 to change it to aluminum. I like the look of the aluminum. Is it worth $7,000? Sure, why not? <laughs> Uh, and then the wheels, as far as the wheels go, do we really need to spend, you know, that kind of money to get a lift axle? 21000 for that, 23 for that, uh, 19 for that, uh, that's 18000 I mean, so we're already spending 18 it looks like, right? No, we're not spending anything, because that's what our trailer already has on it, okay. So that's not an issue there. Let's let that go for now. Um, say eight grand to paint it. Yeah, we have to paint it. We have to paint it. And I think we're going to make... Oh, yeah. We're going to black it out to match our truck. Match our truck, right? Um, and then any accessories? Uh, I don't really want the wall on there right now. It is only two grand or four grand, though. The aluminum, it matches the aluminum. So we'll go with that. Um, lights, of course. Toolbox, I don't know that we're going to put a toolbox on there right now. We're going to mess with the rims. We're going to mess with the rims because uh, I want to do that. I definitely want to. Oh, speaking of the truck. What's the truck at? truck does have duels. Okay, I thought the truck had singles for some reason, but no, it does not. Um, so the rims we'll make. Is that what the color these are? Yeah, black with green and then red. Red lug nuts. Okay. No. So this piece needs to be green, and then our lug nuts need to be red. It's looking pretty solid, boys. Pretty solid. Not gonna lie, that's pretty pretty good. Okay, make this black, and then make this nothing, and this piece here needs to be the green. And then this piece needs to be the red. And I know we're doing this to kind of two videos in a row, but last video was more of just looking at everything. I don't think I want to run a flag. Um, can't you do anything there? Uh, all our different banners. We're, we don't need any banners right now, I don't think. Mud flaps are $1,000. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm good there. So I think we're done. I think we're done. We have our first trailer, guys. We will customize it more as we go, of course. Same thing with our truck. Our truck is okay for now as well. It's looking a little something. Let's go ahead and spend the money and uh, use. We want to use our trailer. Yes, we would like to use our trailer. Cool. Does that mean we're using it? I guess that means we're using it, right? I guess. Let's go. Okay, so we also have... Well, we need fuel too, but that's okay. We have a new... Um, market here basically there was only three in here before now this is how you do this i watched a video by squirrel actually <laughs> i watched the video by squirrel and he was explaining how to do this so let's take this one here what was that music is my wheel working by the way my wheel's not working is it my game crash I think, oh there we go <laughs> wow the leg there. <laughs> uh, all right, get in the cab, hit that clutch. 
that parking brake off. We need fuel in a bad way, boys and girls. Alright. Clutch and shifter. Yep, shifter's working. Okay. We've already hit our trailer. You guys will notice now in the F7 menu. No. F7, if I hit F7. You have truck, trailer, and cargo now. For damage. So that's pretty cool. Man, my wheel is like extremely loose right now. What is going on here? I don't know what's going on with that, but anyway, let's go get some fuel first and then we will uh, grab our first cargo market load. It's pretty cool to be able to say that, right? It's pretty cool to be able to say cargo market. So I'm probably going to split this video into two because it's going to end up being pretty long by the time we deliver, I feel like. I could be wrong, but we need to sleep, we need to grab our load, and we need some fuel. So, uh, that's going to be all three important things to do. So, we will get to it once we get a green light. Alright, Mr. Chuck, you did not have the right of way there, bud, but whatever. Alright. Pull in our yard here. It looks like we're going to be on the right here. Yep, there we are. Okay. And I'm very interested to see these new loads because I'm assuming there's going to be different loads because of the custom trailers here. So, or not custom trailers. Just I mean, this is definitely something different as far as I'm concerned. I don't remember seeing this before. So, this will be really cool. So, what we have to do here, guys. I feel like the game is really loud today, by the way. What we have to do here is not hang our trailer up. First thing. That would be nice, right? Let's just back out into traffic here real fast. Let's take a, a, a attempt number two at this turn. <laughs> attempt number two. See, this is where the axle farther up on the trailer would maybe would be worth some money because going to make making these kind of turns a little bit easier not so difficult and it'll actually make backing up a lot easier if that axle was farther forward on the actual trailer so it's okay though that is okay i still feel like this game's really loud today i feel like i want to go in and turn it down just a little bit real fast uh they've changed some of this stuff down here too by the way they've definitely changed some of this stuff um we just turned us down a little bit. I feel like it's obnoxiously loud. And then we wait for the load screen. The glorious load screen. Come on. All right, I feel like that helped a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> Am I going to be able to do this turn, by the way? <laughs> like, it's pretty bad. We gotta get our trailer back into there. And I don't think we're gonna... I think we need to go all the way out. And then kind of start over. Or not all the way, but like here. Turn, turn, turn the wheel. So this is definitely gonna bring some new life to American Truck. Uh, having all these trailers in here finally. That's good enough. So we just hit, we hit start or enter. I should say we hit enter and, uh, Hey, some time passes and it loads us up with pipe and, uh, we're good to roll out now. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. I like the way that, uh, works. It'd be kind of cool if you could like watch them use forklifts to put it on there. That'd be kind of neat, but I feel like that's okay as well. So we had to take our turns wide with this trailer, like I was saying, um, because of the uh, that axle being all the way back. So that might be worth the eighteen thousand dollars or whatever it was to uh, shimmy that axle up a little bit. Might be worth it, boys and girls. It just might be worth it. All right, let's go ahead and get pulled in here for some fuel. We probably should have done the fuel and sleeping first. But that's okay. It's whatevs. It's whatevs. Alright. 
Go ahead and pull in and get some fuel. Turn our engine off and fill her up. You guys recall we do have these tiny tanks still, so that's a bit of a problem, you see. That is a bit of a problem, but we'll go ahead and pull back here and get some sleeping. And then we'll maybe get on the road with our load of pipe. Our load of pipe. I, I like this whole owning your own trailer thing. I think it's really cool. Let me know what you guys think about it in the uh, comments down below. I'd be very interested to see what you guys have to say about owning your own trailers finally in American Truck Simulator. I think it just adds another level to the game that, uh, you know, definitely needs to be in there. So... That's what I feel anyway. Morning-ish. I'll, I'll take that. I will take the morning-ish here. I'm okay with that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this whole owning your own trailer stuff finally. Um, I think it'd be cool if you could do heavy haul trailers. And get some heavy hauls. But those heavy haul trailers are kind of, you know... I said it in the last video too, they're kind of a little bit like, depending on what your load is, what configuration the trailer is in, but they could add more to the heavy hauls as well. If you had a trailer you could buy, you'd have more stuff. Like they added all kinds of other stuff that you can haul now. So it'd be cool if they went ahead and added some other heavy hauls as well. That's just my opinion, because I am a huge fan. You guys already know this about me. I'm a huge fan of heavy hauls. So there's that. All right, let's get out on the road. Let's go ahead and for a shift. And get rolling down the road for a load of pipe, boys and girls. Although there's totally a red light right here that I should totally stop at. Oh, I guess we'll stop. I guess we'll stop. Try to go from second gear on this one. What do you guys say? Totally nailed it. Alright, I don't know if totally is the right word, but we we got going anyway. We definitely got going. I don't know if nailing it was the right term, but... Ah, oh, we gotta wait for a cycle here, really? Oh, goodness. Alright, don't want to start from third gear. I don't think I could do that. I, I can handle second gear. I don't think I could do... Try it. <laughs> Uh, what have we got on board? How many how many pounds? 47,150 pounds. Not too bad. Come on, baby. We're going to miss our light. Getting on the 10, boys. Getting on the 10. Shift up through all the gears. Ooh, a little bit of a hill climb here, boys and girls. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Come on, baby. Let's do this. All right, we're leaving. Let's go on our little journey here. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. So, yeah, we'll go. We'll go. We'll go. So, depending on how long this video is, I said it earlier, but it really depends on how long um, this video actually is. If we divvy it up into two or if we leave it as one i know some of you guys are saying longer videos some of you guys are saying two shorter videos it's like it's a whole thing <laughs> it's been a whole thing in the comments uh here lately but that's okay i appreciate the comments nonetheless you know what i'm saying like i really do i do appreciate all the comments the views everybody just hanging out having a good time um you guys telling me to continue this series um, so I'm going to try to continue the series. I will say that I've been very slacking. <laughs> I've been a slacker as a YouTuber, and I wouldn't say that it's anything... Oh, baby, watch the road. Uh, I wouldn't really say it's my fault in a way. Uh, last week, actually it's, it's two weeks ago by the time this video comes out. But I was going to record um, over fr Thursday and Friday. Especially Friday. Actually Friday. I was going to work on like on the farm and I was going to do some recordings, but you know, I was going to record Thursday and Friday, but my air conditioner in my house broke. Uh, the outside fan decided to puke. <laughs> the outside fan motor decided to puke and we tried to get one because like dad and I worked on it. You know, we're not going to call somebody in to work on something simple like that. 
it can be a complicated system, but if you have a little bit of knowledge, it's not that big of a deal. And we kind of knew what we were doing. We did call Dad's boss a couple times who... Oh, he, he's kind of a jack-of-all-trades. Like, he knows enough to be dangerous about everything. <laughs> like, he he's really good. So, we did call him a couple times to be like, Okay, now where's the red wire go? Where's the purple wire go? Kind of thing. And he was able to walk us through it on the phone. But uh, we ended up having to replace the motor for the fan outside. And then we also replaced the capacitor and the boost start or whatever. Basically, there's two capacitors. It's not a capacitor, the other one. It's a, it's a jump start, boost start thing. Well, I should really watch the road. But uh, whatever. We did have to replace that one as well. And the place we were trying to get parts from, they didn't have it. We, like, we got the motor out at, like, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We went to this place at, like, 3.40. And they said, well, we don't have the motor here, but our downtown office has it. And it's like, okay, fine. Uh, when can you get it here? And they're like, oh, 8 o'clock in the morning. It's like, okay. So we were satisfied. Okay, let's go home. Let's finish taking everything apart. We know what we need to do. Let's clean the air conditioner like the outside part it has like the screen around it we've never taken it off and cleaned it let's take some time clean it out real good and all that stuff and then dad's boss called and he goes hey if you can get the thing back together most likely it will run since your motor has cooled down because the, the motor got really really hot because it was trying to spin up uh, but it just couldn't do it so he's like well if you get it to spin turn your air conditioner down to like 60 degrees in your house and just deal with a cold house I was like, oh, okay, fine, no big deal. So we put everything back together, we wire in the motor, we put the capacitors back in, all this stuff, worked on it forever, right? And we go to start it, and nothing. The outside unit would just go click, 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 and that's it. It would just click. So Dad and I got kind of kind of mad, and, and we said, you know what? We're just going to have to deal with a hot house for the night. Now, we don't really like that idea because of Mom with all her all her health issues she really shouldn't be hot uh, but mom is most of the time she's cold now she's never hot so it was kind of an okay thing where she was actually comfortable we did open the house up we had the attic fan on um, it was like 93 94 that day when it happened but the house stayed cool enough um, kind of till the evening kind of till the evening when we actually we went to the farm and when we came back from the farm it was starting to get rather, rather warm in the house. And, uh, oh, this is a red light. We gotta, like, stop here. So we, uh, we did have the attic fan on. Like I said, it was like 85 degrees in my room that night. <laughs> I thought I was gonna melt. I'm not gonna lie. It was terrible trying to sleep. So, next morning, Dad gets the thing, uh, the motor out, the capacitors out, and he, Went to the place to pick up the motor and the capacitors. And the... Oh, I did not mean to let my clutch out. The guy there goes, Oh, yeah. We have the motor that you need. And we've had it here the whole time. I don't know why the other guy told you we didn't have it. And it's like, really? <laughs> really? It's like, we slept in a hot house for nothing? And he's like, yeah, kind of. <laughs> so, by the time we got my mom off to dialysis on Friday... Dad and I really started working on it after she left. And then, uh, <laughs> we, uh, uh, what did we do? We went and, uh, so we worked on that and then finally got it running, I want to say like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And to be perfectly honest with you guys, it was miserable in my house. Absolutely miserable. By the time I got done monkeying with that and I'd taken a shower because I was miserable and different stuff like that it just wasn't time to record like it was dang near time to make dinner by the time we got everything done and cleaned up and then trying to get ready for my stream that night and it was a lot it was a lot but we got it going and that's all that really matters um, it's been working fine ever since and um, it's been it's been a couple days now anyway what is it, Tuesday for me? That happened last Thursday, Friday. So almost a week we're coming up on. And uh, like I said, it's been working fine ever since. So 
Kind of happy about that because, man, it was so hot in here uh, Thursday that I was actually, I was going to record Thursday like night, like after we came home from the farm even, but it was seriously like 85 degrees in my room and I'm like, you know, the last thing I want to do is go mess with the steering wheel and like all that. So I just, I just didn't, I just, I couldn't, I just couldn't. So, and then Saturday I had to like, you know, um, edit on the farm and stuff and just didn't get anything recorded. So it's, I would say it's my own fault. It is because I've been slacker kind of, but you know, having other stuff to do as well. It's not like I've just been sitting around twiddling my thumbs or anything. I mean, a little bit. <laughs> but not too bad, not too bad. I kind of got a little burned out from recording on the uh, Platinum Edition for the Xbox. I'm not going to lie. I got a little burned out from uh, wrapping that series up. So that, that might have something to do with this. Obviously, it's still going. There's still more videos to come out. But I have them all done, recorded, edited. So, just need to go through and... There's a John Deere combine trying to pull it on the road back here. Do you guys see that? <laughs> um, my shifter's loud when I don't quite hit where I need to hit. But, uh, yeah. So, I mean, it overall, it's like, yes, I'm really behind. Like, last week's video I recorded Tuesday morning. It was a little over an hour late getting uploaded. But, you know, by the time I record it, edited edit the little bit I do which is not much and then render and then upload it was it was just a little bit late not too bad but just a little bit but uh, hopefully this will be a better week and we won't have any major system failures in my house that I have to address <laughs> you know like air conditioners blowing up uh, that fan motor when we pulled that motor out because it had been trying to run and actually that's what caught what caught my eye kind of was uh, I was upstairs on Thursday and I'm like, it is obnoxiously hot in here. So I went and looked at my thermostat in the hallway and we keep our air set on 74. And it was 70, 76 in here. That's what it was. Yeah, we keep it set on 74. It was 76 in the, my hallway, my, my upstairs hallway there. And I'm like, that's not right. I mean, it was like 85, 90 outside at the time. So it's like, that's not, not right at all. It should, it should be down where it should be. So then I was like, okay, something's not right here. So I actually went outside. No, I came downstairs first. I came downstairs first and I checked it to see if it had been icing up, which it had not been icing up. It was fine. So then I went outside just out of curiosity more than anything. And I, um, I went outside and I looked at the, uh, you know, the outside part and the fans just like trying to spin and just sounds terrible. So I'm like, that's not, that's not good, right? That's not good at all. Oops. I couldn't make, couldn't stop for that red. Sorry. I was like, that's not good. <laughs> so I went in and shut it down. I reset my breaker actually in my house. I let that cool down for a little bit and then, um, I actually went outside and I had my aunt try to turn it on while she was like, you know, we opened the kitchen or bathroom window. Uh, so she could hear me outside like, hey, turn it off, turn it on kind of thing. She turned it on and like the motor tried to spin, but it just wouldn't do it. And it could have just been A, the capacitors, B, the motor. But it was really hot at that time. The motor was really hot. So I ended up calling my dad and I'm like, hey, <laughs> we need to... We need to fix this like right away pops and he's like yeah okay i'll be home in a little bit so he came home and and we started monkeying with it it was the whole thing it was the whole thing but that's okay it's part of you know it's part of life um I, I have a little more knowledge when it comes to working on air conditioner systems now <laughs> as far as like wiring them up and stuff you know that's a plus sign, right? I didn't have that knowledge before, and now I do, so that's a good thing, right? That's always a good thing. You know, there's nothing more in life that I actually enjoy than taking stuff apart and putting it back together. And hopefully it works when I get it all put back together, right? <laughs> I'd say about 90% of the time it works the first time I put stuff back together. I was definitely that kid It's like, hey... 
Bomb, let me borrow the VCR. I'm going to take it apart and see how it works. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> that was definitely me. Oh, uh, in a nutshell. Always taking stuff apart. How does this work? Let me, let me figure this out kind of stuff. I did that a lot. As a youngin, I'm like speeding a lot, aren't I? <laughs> what else is new? Well, I almost took that little road right there. I was like, er, 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 skirt, skirt, <laughs> yee, kind of thing, you know. All the Jake break. Gotta love it. Gotta love the old Jake break here, boys. Trying to run this truck over in front of me. It's only going 45, you know. Try not to run him over. Try. Try not to. Mom truck. Come on, baby. I should go explore this while I'm out here. I really should, shouldn't I? <laughs> um, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I explore. Just saying, that's what I'm what I'm doing. Exploring. It's okay. I'll never be on this stretch road. Probably. Well, I mean, I'm sure I will be sometime again. But I've not really been out here to. Um, New Mexico much because in multiplayer my external contracts don't work out here well even in single player my external contracts don't work so when we do multiplayer convoys it just kind of doesn't work which actually speaking of that this video comes out next week so hey this Saturday I should have led the video with this whoopsie this Saturday boys and girls we are going to be doing a 12 hour I was hoping nobody hits me here. Uh, we're going to be doing a 12 hour long live stream playing American Truck Simulator this Saturday, 10 a.m. Central, twitch.tv slash poopapla. There's a link in the description down below to the Twitch page. Come check it out. There's going to be a bunch of streamers streaming, and we're going to try to raise money for Extra Life. That is our focus, is to raise as much money as possible for Extra Life. So there's going to be hopefully a bunch of us streaming. I know I'm kind of leading the charge, and then I'm hoping that a bunch of other people uh, jump in and truck along with us and stream and just have a good time, hang out, and raise some money for the kids, because that's what it's all about. 12 hours of trucking, I'm nervous about it. it I'm going to be in a lot of pain. <laughs> so, uh, after using the wheel for, you know, a while, it's like, okay, my shoulder starts to hurt, my back starts to hurt, just like, it, you know, it's a whole thing, honestly. It really is, so, but that's okay, it's for the kids, and uh, we'll all tough it out for the kids. There will definitely be a lot of breaks involved, you know, I still need to go, like, take care of mom and stuff like that, because, you know, nobody else will be here except for my aunt, but I still will need to take a break for lunch, need to take a break for dinner, and that kind of stuff, so definitely some breaks will be taken, and uh, it'll be a good time, it'll be a good time, we'll be trucking along and, and uh, having a good old... Good old time of trucking. Because I, I think there's going to be a fair bit of us that are going to be a streaming. So, should be a good time. Man, these roads are just like, I'm all over the place out here, boys. There's no, like, highways, you know? They're all little roads out here. Just saying, just saying. Right, what we're down, boy. What we're down, what we're down, what we're down. Maybe not that mode down. All right, we can start from third gear. <laughs> we can do it. It's not the most fun thing of all time, but we can do it. We got 126 miles to go. This might be one video. I don't know. Probably. Probably going to be one video. Come on, baby. Give me the green. Give me the green. <laughs> I can totally go right now. Nobody's coming. Why are those trucks running their flashers over there? Hmm. That's weird. Did they get into an accident, maybe? Come on, baby. Drop that clutch. Come on, baby. All right, we good, we good, we good. Like I said, 123 miles to go. 
Not too bad. Not too bad. We're rolling out here now. Oh, missed a gear. Let's go to seven first. Before going to eight. Hmm. Her. <laughs> Never run up in the high range. I always run low range. Which means I'm only using like half my gears or two thirds of my gears, but whatever. I still like the 18 uh, Eaton a lot more. I don't know. There's just something about having 18 potential gears to work through. I just like it. I don't know why. I really don't know why. I just think it's fun. That's all. I think it's more fun. A lot more fun. But that's all right. So we're gonna we're gonna make some distance up now. Make some time up by uh, hammer down, putting on speed still. Going six five plus. I know if I'd shift down a little bit, I'd get going a lot faster. So we can actually just do that. Shift it back to low range. Get a little more speed out of her. And then we can always pop it into high range too. Here in a second. Here in a second. Especially with heavy hauls. If I have a heavy load, I'm not switching to high range. I'll leave that bad boy in low range. That's plenty for me. There we go. Got her up in high, high eight, which would be 13 uh, gear in this 13 speed transmission. And we're rocking now, boys. We are rocking, winding this truck up, winding it up, knocking down those miles real fast down there, aren't we? It's pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. It is pretty awesome. So yes, but oh, 12 hours of trucking. That's gonna be a good day, good long day. So, and then we might take a break from American Truck for a little while. Uh, we'll see what this trailer pack does as far as uh, multiplayer. Because if it, like, breeds some life back into multiplayer, then we'll probably keep streaming it. Uh, I think I'm ready to take a break from streaming American Truck. Obviously, keep working on this series. But uh, take a little break from streaming for a little while. American Truck and uh, replace it with something else. I'm streaming a ton of uh, Minecraft right now. I was gonna say NASCAR and I knew that wasn't right. I'm streaming a ton of Minecraft right now, Monday and Wednesdays, pretty much every week right now. Gonna be streaming the Minecraft, so it's a good time. I'm getting a lot of stuff done on Minecraft that I normally don't do. I normally just like mess around a little bit and I'm done. So I'm actually kind of proud of myself for what I am accomplishing uh, this season on the Plowcraft server. So yes. There is that. And I know I'm speeding, but hey, it's only like four or five over, you know, at times. It was bouncing up to 75 a second ago. There we go. Whatever. Which is a big deal in a truck, but <laughs> that's okay. Eight over, whatever. Nine over, eh. All right, 10 over, I should probably slow down. <laughs> Guess what? I'm not going to. I enjoy how fast our uh, trip time, our miles are cranking down over there. Just saying, just saying. If we need to slow down, of course we can. It's no big deal. I'll put her down in first gear and hit that jake brake. <laughs> that thing stops you immediately when you have it up in or in first gear and you hit it. It's amazing. It really is. Oh, we need to. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> that was really bad, wasn't it? Let's slow down a little bit. It's only 40 through here now, so <laughs> we go, you know, rolling through like a little town. Honk for the town. Honk for Harambe. So there's that. Okay, back on the open road, maybe? Yeah. Speed limit's back up. Okay. Little town snuck up on me. I'm not going to lie. That little town kind of snuck up on me. I'm not going to lie. Come on, baby. Hit that switch up. Go ahead and run her back to high range now. Run it, boy, run it. I thought I had another speeding ticket. <laughs> uh, I really need to work hard on this, on this profile, and start paying my loan back. I really need to pay a loan back. I think I have a couple taken out, don't I? Uh oh. It's it's four o'clock in the afternoon. You know what that means, boys. Chad's got to start yawning. 
every day that four o'clock comes, I was like, I go for a nap. I could definitely go for a nap, but guess what I'm not gonna do? Not gonna take that nap. <laughs> not gonna take it. Really run that Jake break. <laughs> really run that Jake break. All right. I did not mean to honk at that car. Sorry, random pedestrian, or citizen, whatever your name is. You with the face. You with the face. I apologize for honking at you. Alright, so we've made our journey with our steel pipe. And we are just about to deliver. Pretty awesome. New new loads and stuff. I like it quite a bit. I'm not going to lie. I like it quite a bit. And we get to take our trailer with us because it's our trailer. Which is pretty neat. We never unhook our trailer anymore unless we want to store it up. And we can still take other loads too. That's that's the important thing to note. Uh, we can definitely, uh, definitely still take other loads, which is kind of neat if you ask me. All right. So if we want to take a heavy haul, let's say, we can park our trailer and then just get another trailer. Can we pull through this spot? No. Of course not. There's stuff blocking us. Why would we be able to? Uh, we should have plenty of room out here, though. To make this happen. Plenty. Plenty of room. Winging on in here. Come on, baby. Yeah, too tight. Too tight. Too tight. Too tight. Still too tight. <laughs> Alright. Still too tight, but yet yeah, not tight enough at the same time. Oh, my backing up skills, by the way. I don't have any. <laughs> I don't have any, boys and girls. I don't have any backing up skills, okay? I just don't. Now we should have this. Maybe. One more time pulling forward. One more time. One more. Oh. Yeah, it seems like once I got the wheel, my backing up skills dramatically um, went, went downhill. Like, no joke. Went downhill, guys. <laughs> I was better on the keyboard. It was much better on the keyboard, I feel like. Alright, so we're gonna take our truck out of reverse. Go ahead and turn it off just to save that fuel. Set our parking brake, hit enter, and we're good to go. So that was our first, uh, what do they call it? Cargo market job with our first uh, trailer, and then we can look at other jobs right here from the screen. So that's what we're gonna do in the next video, guys. We're gonna go ahead and just take a job from right here. Until then, I'm your boy John from Hoopla. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, toodles.